yeah, sorry about that if you're watching the first live stream. I don't think anyone was, but um, my iPad I was using kind of deaded. It died. So we'll so we'll start off again. So pretty much you'll start on the first box. This stuff was stuff she found at a yard sale. Most of it is yard sale finds. Yes, I use cat litter mm. pen liners to protect my stuff. Don't judge if you see that. This this stuff was actually two dollars for all of the, all of the stuff in this box except for like one thing that wasn't part of the set. You said this is an F seven. Yeah. This one's kind of my baby because it took me so long to get her to run without sparking or smoking or overheating that she still needs a new motor, but she but she kind of runs. So she's kind of my favorite. <laughs> um, I believe she's an F yeah Barkman F seven. I think it's a what it's a Ringfield mo mo motor. She's old, and I'm pretty sure a kid got a hold, of, a hold of her because she's in such crappy condition. Most of the stuff looks like a kid got a hold of it. It's pretty bad when your track is in better condition than your train. And I'm assuming it, it came with, what I'm, I'm assuming is like part of a bridge, maybe? And a station? And a station. That looked like someone's hot glued together. Yeah, most of this looks like somebody took hot glue to it, which was kind of not very intelligent on their part. And then th this is the infamous controller that doesn't work the way controllers are supposed to work. <laughs> because if you tell it to go forward, the train goes backwards. But and if you tell it to go backwards, the train goes forwards. It's a very confused controller. <laughs> yeah, um, if I could, I'd open it up and check its wiring, but it's kind of sealed together with rivets. Yeah, it is, isn't it? And it has some trees, various sizes. I'm thinking I've considered decorating these for Christmas, mm. possibly. And it comes with cars of various kinds, some of which are missing parts. I do have the parts for them. As you can see, some of them mm. are missing bits and pieces. And like I said, it is a it is pretty bad when your track is in better condition than the train itself. That says something. Yep, it looks like it's all steel track. But but yeah, this is like the cleanest track mm. that I own. The other stuff came from that one old guy that I told you about before. And a bag of rocks and signs. Yeah. Still not sure what the rocks are, were actually intended for, but they're like really flat and polished, so maybe ballast of some description. I would say probably landscaping. But like the trees and the stuff mm. like that. Also in this box, but not actually included in, with everything else, is a very broken setup here that my dad dad handed to me. I think it belonged to my mom originally. She wasn't very happy that he handed it over to me, but <laughs> it's there now. And as you can see, it's kind of died. A painful death. Yeah, I think it's a plastic kit, kit she's built at some stage. I believe it might have belonged to her dad at one point. My mom's mm. mom's dad. So that's that box. And that was all, except for the one, the, the very last thing, the, the River Rossi, or however you say that. Yeah, uh, you, you, said it, you said it correctly. That one aside, everything cost exactly $2 for the whole box. Goodbye. Gotta love yard sales. People don't always know what they have. So they sell it dirt cheap. And sometimes they just want to get rid of it. That too. Dust cloth. So, anyway, while she's getting ready to bring the next box over, or the next things, um, I thought I might give you an update on the channel. Because of the whole thing of me moving to states in June, um, I'm still waiting for all the immigration stuff to go through. Oopsie. So I can't exactly buy any, any locomotives or I can't do anything like that. Um, so I've got to wait until... Don't knock this over. Please. Until the immigration stuff goes through. And then I can pro probably start looking at doing reviews again. 
But, yeah, until that stage, I can't really, I don't think it'd be financially good decision for me to do it. You think? <laughs> um, but, yeah, mostly the review, reviews will be most likely US stuff. I don't think anybody cares about Moss, do they? <laughs> no, not really. Um, so until, so mostly the US stuff. Um, US, not moths, mm. moss. Mostly US stuff. Occasionally I might be able to buy some stuff from Australia again, but yeah, that's going to be in the future. I think I think Sue's about to dig out something else. Yeah, I gotta remember what's what here, so because all the boxes look the same. That's probably the fern blue boxes, isn't it? <laughs> okay, back. Okay, this is one of my Union Pacific ones. If the box is correct, I find it very interesting because nowadays you find find some, most locomotives to be like hundreds of mm. dollars. This one originally cost twenty dollars. That's just supposed to show how old it is. Oh yeah, this is the one that runs, I think. She doesn't have any actual paperwork. Some of them come with paperwork, some of them don't. This, these, these, this and the, the, the ones you're going to see after this one came with, it came in one great big box that I found for $50 at a garage sale. They were owned by a older fellow who passed away, apparently. And, long story short, they spent ages stored in a barn, and for something that was stored in a barn for that long, this guy runs pretty good. It looks like all, all the handrails and everything are intact. Yeah, this one's kind of sprung loose, but I can fix that. And complete with the original horn hook couplers. Unlike the little F7 you guys mm. saw before, this one does not spark <laughs> when it runs on the tracks. I still don't know why that one does that. Maybe it's something wrong with the track, I don't know. And yeah, we, we picked up two F7s at a yard sale, thinking, okay, we, we got to do a heart transplant. I tested them, and they were, they were not suitable candidates, after all. Not really. The biggest problem with that little F7 is that it sparks so much, I'm afraid I'm going to set the house on fire. <laughs> don't burn down the house. Yeah, burning down the house is not very good for anybody, so... Uh, I think this one can wait to last. We'll go for the, the whatever that A word that I can't seem to get straight. A fern. There was a whole lot of dummies in this batch too, so I'm pretty sure this is one of them. So um, nope, this one's this one's kind of dead, so I'm not going to bother taking it out. It was kind of in pieces when it when it came to me. I patched it back together a little bit, but I don't think she's ever going to run again. <laughs> Her, I'm, think, I'm thinking if it's possible to use the motor on this one to to make that other F7 run, but I'm not sure. This one looks a little bit bigger, doesn't it? Um, I think so. It could be an older model. Yeah. I think it's a Tyco. Um, I don't know. I can't see. I'm not going to try to take it out. It might fall to pieces on me. Yeah. It's not even in the right box. Uh, the way I, I always remember how to pronounce a fern is... Um, I always say Athen, Athens, and then I add, a, add another N and N at the end of it to make it a fern now. Don't tip over, don't tip over, don't tip over. Okay. I'm not sure which one is what. Like I said, they all look the same in the box. The C. <coughs> Excuse me. F45BN. Oh, the number's wrong. F Another one that doesn't have any... F45, it's probably referring to the locomotive class. Yeah. This one's a dummy. It's definitely a dummy. Black wheels. I had somebody say they wanted this one, but, but I'm not really up to selling these at this point. So that's that one. It didn't come with any paperwork on that, this one. Some of them came with paperwork, some of them didn't. I hope I made sense about the barn thing. Basically, these things spend years 
stored in somebody's barn. Which, and considering that, they're in actually really good condition. Yeah, and at the end of this, I'm going to go through my yard sale find. Oh, yep, this one has paper. Um, that I kind of, it's kind of a reshoot after I kind of had a dum dum and, and do, do it, delete the original video. No comment from me. That is supposed to be this one. This one's pretty much the same as the other one, but that's the paperwork that came with it. Is this a dummy too? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that it's a dummy. Hang on, let me get it out and look. Yeah, she's a dummy. Yeah. Whole buttload of dummies out of this batch. Yeah, I, I might be, be nice and motorizing for her. When we have money to do that. And if we can still get the kits. These are pretty old, so I don't know. Or if all else fails, uh, when we start building a train room, we'll, we'll just put them on dis display in the shelf. Uh, this one's missing some wheels. I just now realized. That, there was, that one's an Atheon 2 by the looks of the bottom of it. Um, I think this is a, a Athern P, uh, P, P, B, I think it is, something like that. It's an, it's an Alco locomotive, and yeah, we need a new belly plate for her. No, that's not a locomotive, it's a car seat. Yeah, no, no. Is it local? It, it, yeah, it's a, it's a B unit. Booster unit. Another one of the uh, Union Pacifics. This one's a dummy, though. I'm pretty sure, unless those are really gross looking wheels. They no. look gross, anyways, but. They're, they're freewheeling, they're dummies. It's a dummy. And it has paperwork with it. Uh, handrails are kind of messed up. That's and bits and random bits and pieces in the bottom of the box. Oh yeah, but these are, mm. they're old. Mm. Give it a break. And it's the wrong class. Wrong class. Yeah, definitely wrong one. I think they just kind of randomly threw papers into boxes. <laughs> For 50 bucks, it's not a bad find, though. Mm, 50 bucks, it's a bargain. I think I'll put that in there backwards, but that's okay. It'll survive. This one has parts to still use. Lots of random crap in there. Uh, we'll see what we have here. Oop, Oop careful. Handrails, brake shoes. Yeah, this this kit's still to be fin finalized put together. Uh, what did we lose here? What did you uh, just do? Uh, uh, I'm just uh, g g uh, g making sure the other live stream got deleted. Oh, okay. Make sure it's still not streaming nothing. Nothingness. That would be entertaining. Yeah, it would be. So, so it has a parts bag. It's got styrofoam. It's got... Excuse my hair being in the way again. Okay, so if this is correct, it's an SD45 or S... SDP45, so one... Uh, no, 40. It says 40. Uh, 40. So it will be either a passenger locker or a freight locker. Let's see. It's the wrong paperwork. It's, it's a U-boat. And there's even more paperwork in the bottom. <laughs> there's enough paperwork in here to sink a small battleship. Holy crap. And you say U-boat. Mm. That's funny. <laughs> Um, I said it can sink a battleship. <laughs> okay, let's see what we have. That's a F-45, so that's for one of the built from Northern Europe. What we have A GEC, that's that one right there. That's what we're supposed to be in that box. So this is... A, so this and is a, there's more handrails and bits and pieces in the bottom of the box, too. Looks like I've, I've got a repair, but I'm not doing live stream repair jobs. They're old. Give it a break. It's an old fart. 
All right, I'll put that in backwards. And there's the locomotive. It is a dummy, just like most of them are. And obviously, it's a work in progress. Uh, uh, so. Obviously, the previous owner never never finished this one. Well, it did belong to an old gentleman, yeah. older gentleman for, at first, so he probably ran out of time. Oh well, well. We'll finish his job for him. Yeah, and put him put him in display in the future train room. You know, my last video was three months ago. It was? Yeah. There we go. I had to flatten that a little bit so the box would shut. Ooh, thanks! Breaking your train is not good. No. Oh, here's that one. I think. I hope. Nope, that's another bean, I think. Yeah, that's a bean. It's got a part bag, but it's kind of... It's got a horn in it, and that's it. Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's a horny horn, is it? <laughs> Leave it to you to make everything dirty. Good, good gods, what am I going to do with you? This is a dummy as well. Kind of beat up. The handrails are a little rusted. But then again, it did spend mm. time in a barn for a long time, so... Yeah, I think that that one's a paperwork for uh, the that, that one's paperwork was in the last box. I think. Sure, that... there's a whole bunch of paperwork in the bottom of the box again. Because that's obviously not a Alco PA, PA streamliner. It's a Jeep of some description, I reckon. Mm -hmm. There's there's that. Let's see. I'll show you this one here. Is, looks like. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, uh, we don't have that let go. But we do have that that I think one I gotta figure out where that where that little I think you called it a B unit? Yeah. I gotta figure out where that went. It's somewhere in there. Well we've got two B units. We got that that the one you talked about and we got this one here. That one doesn't have a motor. Yeah. I can tell you that much. Hey, somebody too comes to the door. <laughs> okay, thank you for announcing that's all of Facebook. <laughs> Excuse that. <laughs> Sorry. Is there something covering that? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, nope. Okay. okay, that feels like it's in the wrong spot. Okay, that was over here. And on to the next box. My, my, my poor wife, she, she, she's doing all, all the work. I'm just sit, sit, sitting here. Sitting, sitting on here. your damn ass. That's what you're doing. Uh, oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, I found it. 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 Baby. Yep, there she is. Ugh. This confused the hell out of me. I didn't know that this was even a thing at first. So I opened this up, and there was a motor in it, and it is a car, and, I'm, and I could not figure out for the life of me why a car had, would have a motor in it. It made no sense whatsoever until somebody told me what the hell it was for. And I'm pretty sure that somebody who told me would be able to explain it a lot better than me. Well, this is a, I think it's a P-A-B, Alco, B unit. <gasps> Unfortunately, we don't have any A units a units to run, run with them, so... And it actually is not a dummy. Mm. It, runs. it runs. And it lights up, too. And she's got horn hook couplers, so she'll be one of the ones that's going to get repaired and fixed. Fixed and put... And eventually put into some sort of service. See? No motor. <laughs> Apparently, mm. somebody broke the dark poor thing. Pretty good on that one. There we go. Oh. What are you 
doing? Nothing. Sure, you're not. Just doing check, that. just check my emails. So it looks like we got a uh, lifelike Santa Fe, maybe. But is it a lifelike? That's the next question. No, well, it doesn't look very lifelike. It's awfully small. To be a smart ass, sorry. Uh, only back power. Yep. And their handrails are a disaster at the moment. That's a repair job. Maybe get get, in, get into what one one day when I'm not doing anything. So this looks like a, a GP thirty eight maybe. I'm not really up to speed on my US work mode classification. And neither am I. I'm still pretty new to the hobby. Maybe start, someone in the comments can let, let us know, but it's definitely Santa Fe. It's definitely Santa. Obviously. It says Santa Fe on the side. That's kind of a no-brainer. So the outside says what it is. It says GF38 Loco. Uh, a, G, a GP38, so yeah. Okay, that was a P dot and that's my bad. That was my mouse, not mm. my ass, I swear. I need to give them an alert. Apparently these things are all piled on the side so they're all fall off me. It looks like we're on to rolling stock. So we got a baby roof. This one's freaking heavy. For something that's empty. Two teeny tiny locomotives. Two hand scale locomotives. They're twinning! They're twinning! Okay, so we got a baby roof, 40 foot reefer car, I this believe. This looks like shit. Excuse my language, I don't care. I'm one of those people who just doesn't give a shit. I say whatever is on my mind. Baby roof, reefer of some, reefer of some description. Here's the infamous rattler that I get that pisses me off to no end. Um, I think this one may actually would, would would go with the um. Don't put it on the floor, you dingbat. You want to mess up the wheels? This one looks like it, it might, the paint job matches the the one in the the freight cars in in the other box. Why did you flip open? This piece of junk. There's a fly in here. That's not a car, is it? Uh, no. That's some sort of building. Okay, they can just sit over there, then out of my way. That's some sort of, of I want to say, white metal, metal construction. I'd say that might have been. These might have been used for that. That's the only reason I can think of for some of these really tiny things. Bags mm. cars. But, but yeah, um, a white metal or some description flat car. That thing is heavy. Mm. That, that's why I think it's a white metal, white metal or brass construction. This thing. I took off the top mm. part of it just to see what was going on under there, and apparently the weight that mm. was used for it, it came loose, and that's why it rattles so much. Okay, looks like this one might be KD convertible. Yeah. Oh, and don't don't flip it over upside down. There's flappy things up on the top that like going out of control. Please. It looks like some sort of re it's a reefer from the Milwaukee Road. Lumber car. So, quite self-explanatory uh, from the Lee. From the Lehigh Valley, I want to say, maybe. Something with the Alana V in it. And I don't think they care about end scale at the moment. It's a little um, forty footer, forty footer. That one really looks like hell. <laughs> a great northern flat car subscription. Hey, this one comes from my state. And that's a. Uh, 
no name. We have some moss that nobody cares about. <laughs> and another one from the Western Western Maryland. 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 Don't don't call it Maryland. That irritates <laughs> me to no end. You have no freaking idea. I should shouldn't try try annoy my wife, should I? I got frying pans and I'm not afraid <laughs> to use them. You you know it. Okay, now I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure that has nothing to do with the railway anyway. Uh, that's, that's an empty box. I don't need to worry about an empty box. <laughs> no, this is not actually rice pudding. I'd hope not. It would have smelled awfully bad by now, wouldn't it? Uh, another... Ah, uh, this is from the same lot. An old-time Bachman Union Pacific passenger car. Yep, that is a Bachman, actually. Virginia coal hopper. Oh, so that's what that's for? Yeah, it, it's a coal hopper. I'm not sure if that door operates. Yes, it does. Yay! Maybe a finger. I want to say maybe a Barkman, maybe? Uh. Oh, no. uh I don't know. Even the numbers on the bottom are pretty worn out. Well, let's see what we can see. Ow, my toe. Ow, my toe. This is resting on my bad leg. You might want to hurry up, dear. So I can oh. move, it, move things around here. Uh, oh, careful. Oh, sorry. A uh, reefer? With a couple of Okay, every time you say reefer, I immediately think of drugs. Stop <laughs> saying that. That's, that's what I mean. That's... And like I, I said, new to the hobby. Don't mind me. I'm good at messing things up. And then another cattle car. All in a rice pudding box. I, I take this out the first time and he can says, Ooh, rice pudding! Mm. <laughs> Typical. Not my fault I'm hungry. <laughs> Always. That's an understatement. That is, that's not how I had that. That's just how I had that. Wait, Train wreck, train wreck. She's, she's throwing flat cars at me. So some guys throw frying pans, mine throws flat cars. Somebody's just asking for the frying pan today, isn't it? I'm getting my ass kicked by a fucking train. Is this for next to this one? Uh, I'm not sure. That might have been over there. Yeah, that's, that looks right. That looks about right. Yep. And as you can see, the whole box cost 50 bucks. Pretty much a steal. Mm. It looks like a situation where... What happened to my lumber car? Up, it's up, yeah. Oh. And no, in case anybody wonders, I'm not selling any of this at this point. I may do some mm. so in the future, but don't bug me. I'm pretty sure that's from a truck, now they're carrying it. Yeah, I think that's a trailer. Get that there by the toe, unless you want to do anything with your toe smash. Then there's this guy. I'm kind of reluctant to take these guys out of their boxes. 
the look of the price tag on these things. You, you, you see them going mm. for like hundreds of dollars nowadays. <laughs> and uh, that was two for dollars yeah. of 50 cents. Uh, that's uh, Union Pacific Iron Ore or Hopper. Hmm. I was calling it a coal hopper. There's not much iron ore, doesn't it? This one doesn't have the finish, so it's okay to take out. And this is really light, so I'm assuming mm -hmm. it's not weighted down. Well, uh, we can fix that. Oscar Mayer weenies. <laughs> oh, this guy just made a face. I, th I, th I think his dirty mind just kicked mm -hmm. into high gear. Or else he's trying to imitate mm. a puffer fish. I'm not entirely sure which. I'm pretty sure these are full poppers. And yes, I know they're the same. No, I'm not selling them. Either of them. Uh, so Again, there's like that mm. crazy low price thing going on there. I have a bunch of, I don't remember what I did with it at the moment. But I had a bunch of old magazines from about the era that these, these came from, and looking through some of those old prices, it's just like, why couldn't they have saved that cheap? <laughs> they uh, made things so much easier for people. Some Northwest, uh, North, North Oak and Southern, I want to say they're iron ore, iron, iron ore I need to take this ah. Ah. Pretty sure they're iron, iron ore, actually, not coal. Well, they're, they're black, that's why I made the assumption that they're coal. But then again, as mm. I said, I have no idea what I'm talking about anyway, so. She's quite literally talking out of her ass. <laughs> I did not fart! That was my mouth. <laughs> See? <sighs> Trying to embarrass me online, are we? This is a caboose, I think. They put this in the wrong... Thing. This box is meant for that car. Okay, well, w w we can we can remedy. Rem rem uh oh, and this is why we don't tip this car. And we can we can remedy remedy that situation after after we finish those streams. Oh, this needs some help with its rails too, by the way. I forgot to mention that. Too. There's a caboose in the baby Ruth box. That is that is quite rude, isn't it? Santa Fe caboose at that. At least I'm assuming it's a caboose. Yeah, well, yeah. It looks like a caboose. It's a little red caboose. It's a little rude red caboose. A rude red caboose. Bleh! Try saying that ten times fast. I can't say that once fast. I can't even say it once slow. I'm just kind of taking these out one at a time. This was 277. Mm. Whatever was in this box at whatever time. Golf time reef for. No, that might be that one now. Somebody doing drugs on the train circuit. Look out. This one's kind of broken if I remember right. Or else it was another blue one. Uh, that's. That's a coal on Yeah, there. it's definitely coal. Um. Don't know where that road, but. It's, it's... Excuse my hair. Sorry. If someone wants to let us know what road that is, and it has no identification marks again, either. It's un it's it's unknown. There's a number three on the mm. field trip. Or the bogey, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Oops, excuse me, sorry, I cut. Don't mind me. Well, since since we're in past half half an hour, it means we we might have a quick break, and we'll be back with part two. Yeah. It gets fussy if you put it too, too long, huh?